Hi everybody, welcome to Science Explained by Ivy Elefante. Today we are going to make a homo motor, which is a really simple motor that you can make using double A battery and neodymium disc magnets. It's it's like this and about six inches copper wire. So you can buy like this and of course you're just gonna cut it into six inches. So the first step that you will do is to lay this copper wire flat on the table and then you wanted to fold it so that you can get the center so how i want it is just like that so just make sure that it is um, the same length on each side if it's not then for this one i can just cut a little bit okay and then next is you are going to press the end here, the folded end, and then just like that, like that. And then you wanna hold it that way. Okay. So you're gonna make like a V shape later on, I'm gonna show you. And then fold the end perpendicular to your V shape, like so. So the V shape would be, you're just going to stretch it a little bit like that. Okay. And then you just want to make sure that right here is straight. So you're going to flatten it using your plier and the other side as well. Okay. Now, so you lay it flat just to make sure that you will get an even um, sculpture later on. So next thing you will do is to create, is to fold the ends right here. Like I said, it should be balanced. So you can estimate how long would that be? Um, probably half an inch like this. So you're gonna do that half an inch. So as you can see there, they're somehow balanced, right? So I'm just gonna make it flat here so that when we put it on top of the positive side of the battery it won't fall so to make sure that you have a balanced wire lay it flat on the table and then straighten your battery I mean your wire like so okay and then you're just gonna balance the ends here okay Next is you are going to measure the size of your battery. So this one will be attached to this end of the battery like that. Okay. And then you just want to measure the length of your magnet, of course, to so make sure the end of this will be touching your magnet. So. So you're going to want to make sure that this end touches the positive side of the battery and then boom there you go and okay let's stop it real quick right here and so this is not working because the end of our wire is there so this will lightly touch this point right here this guy will lightly touch the magnet back. There you have it. Our homo motor. No, it's flying, look. It's flying. It's flying. Oh, I don't know if you did, if you saw that, but it's flying, look. It 
is fine. <laughs> so the wire is already like away from the oh, magnet. Let's make another one. Ta-da! There you go! So that. here, you just made an electric motor. The type Stop of current me. this motor uses is DC or direct current. Mm, give a spin. That means the flow of electricity goes in one direction only. Electricity flows from the positive end of the battery to the negative end. To complete the circuit, you used a copper wire. Copper is a metal that conducts electricity. So, electricity flowed from the positive end of the battery to the negative end through the battery, into the wire, up in the wire, Actually, and back to the positive it's end of game. the battery. This is called a complete circuit. Electricity is flowing in one direction. Thus, it is a direct current. But why did the motor spin? That's where the magnet comes in. The magnetic field of the magnet also has a positive end and a negative end. The magnetic field is pushing up towards the battery. The electric flow of current is pushing down towards the magnet. These opposing forces cause an outward motion on the wire, causing it to spin around the magnet. This kind of motor with a battery, magnet, a wire is called a homopolar motor. The wire spins in one way because of the force of the magnetism and the flow of electricity. This kind of motor won't be able to power anything, but it's fun to look at. You should try it on your own. Look at that. It's fun. And you can have different designs like heart shape, a ballerina, aside from spiral, and a whole lot more. I had fun doing this. And it is a good project to give to um, middle school or high school students when you are talking about electromagnetics, um, electromagnetism, um, energy and forces, and stuff like that. Or you can just simply make it for your own um, enjoyment. <laughs> yes. So there you have it. Thank you so much.